Hi everyone, today I'll be showing you how to upgrade a phone charger to safer and more powerful Tesla cells. Unlike standard iPhone chargers, Tesla cells have tons of advantages. They can be charged from 0 to 100% in less than an hour, maintain 80% capacity after 3000 cycles, and they have an incredible energy density when compared to most other batteries. Recently, I've been traveling around a lot, and while doing so, I found that many of the commonly available battery phone chargers that I have barely gave me enough charge to even last a few hours. Let's take the extreme charger. When I plugged this into my phone, I only got 7% more charge before the extreme battery died. Extreme claims to have a battery life of 2600 milliamps. Since my phone battery is 3000 milliamps, I know it should have at least charged it to 60%. So I popped open the charger, and it's just as I had expected. The battery was produced by Li Yang, one of the many Chinese lithium ion manufacturers that do not provide reliable batteries. I performed a capacity test on the battery, only to find that the cell had 800 milliamps of capacity, compared to the 2600 milliamps it was supposed to have. And this was just the beginning of the troubles I had. A Goal Zero charger only charged my phone to 30%, and after a while it became too hot to touch. As I suspected, the Goal Zero battery was also made in China. In order to make a safe, reliable phone charger that could last at least a day, I took a Tesla 18650 cell and added it to the Extreme charger. Unlike the two other chargers I had dealt with, the Tesla cell gave my phone a 70% boost in charge. Still, I thought it would be useful to add a couple more of these cells to boost the juice of the battery pack. With the three cells, I was able to get the battery pack to last about three days before it finally died. In comparison, this Morphe battery pack, which is roughly the same size, only has about half the energy density of these three Tesla cells. By using the Tesla cells, we now have a long-lasting and reliable charger that is not prone to overheating. If anyone's interested in the Tesla cells I've used in this video, be sure to check out the link in the description below. I'll be doing more experiments like this with these batteries in the future that involve UAVs, racing bikes, and electric skateboards. If you liked the video, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.